Hello. Okay, so I'm still in a good mood. I'm still really in a good mood. I'm going to take my glasses off because I don't need them to see. Um, tonight, it's, it's about 6.30. Not, the lighting is what the lighting is. It's just my dining room and the lighting is what the lighting is. It's, it is what it's going to be. Actually, I should probably keep my glasses on, but whatever. So tonight, I'm going to do an art project. I'm going to do what I call a dirty pour. And right now, I'm just trying to get my paint to the right consistency. This is water. I'm just adding water to my paint. And... Um, I will actually upload, well, I'll probably actually do a video of what I do to the paint to get it ready to go. However, I did not want to do a, oh, I keep forgetting where the lens is. I didn't want to do a two hour video. Um, and so I just decided to mix it beforehand, except this color, because this, this color is just giving me trouble. There we go. Okay, so I gotta put WD-40 in. Um, stir my colors around. We are using, uh, the colors we have are, and I will show you, we have a deep purple. We have like a pastel rose pink. We have kind of a more of an indigo blue, maybe a phthalo blue, or whatever they call it. We have normal black. Actually, the black has a little bit of a color shifting gold in it. And white. So, I'm going to show you. I think I already put some in there. If it's in there, we're good to go. Um, I. I'm going, getting ready to show you what I'm going to cover tonight. You can tell on the wall and the chair behind me are some of the paintings or the canvases that I've done. And I did, this is called a dirty pour or flip cup. I mean, there's lots of names to it. Um, I have done this on canvas. I have done it on wood. I've used all sorts of different colors, color shifting, paint, you know, all sorts of things. And I have never done it on a casting, on a sculpture. Uh, my husband and I do life casting. And what life casting is, we take a mold of your hand or your foot or, you know, whatever it is, or your pregnant belly and we make a casting of it so that you have that you know for your memory today it's going to be a little bit of a a healing video i hope for some of my subscribers 90 99 i think 99 percent of my subscribers are my family um whether you're chosen family or blood family doesn't matter your family you are my family and my family has been working through something for months. We had a thing that happened and we had a family tragedy and I'm not at liberty to talk about details or anything. All I'm going to say is that what I will be doing the dirty pour on today is some casting, a cast, couple castings that we did. Um, and I'm really excited because I've never done this. I've never done this on anything more than a flat surface. I wanted to do a curved surface, but anybody that knows me knows I take a running jump at everything I do. I jump in with both feet. I don't start small. That's not me. You know that. <laughs> so I decided that I was going to do the dirty pour on, I'm going to kind of shift this up a little. There we go. If it stays, I don't know what I was going to say. And I don't know. Sorry for my hand right in the, the lens. Anyway, 
So we are going to, I am going to um, pour a dirty pour on a casting. I'm going to get a little close. I'm going to have to cover my face so that you can see some of the detail. Um, the life casting is very detailed down to the texture and fingernails. I actually, let's see if I can cover my face and get that to focus. I don't think it's going to focus any better. I actually gave the hand a manicure and so the hand is on wood and I'm going to put it about there that way you guys can can see it and the second dirty pour I'm going to do will be on a foot I probably shouldn't have put that there quite yet and if you can cover my face I think there it goes I think it's focusing you can see the texture and you know in between the toes and you can see the ankle bone and this is a little peekaboo it's supposed to be that way um, anyway so this is there's a this is just this is a casting that we did and so I'm going to do a dirty pour on both the hand and the foot I again have never done this on a surface other than something flat. So I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. It could be the most amazing thing I've ever seen and it could just not be very pretty to me. I don't know, we're gonna find out together. So that being said, this is an empty cup. It's just, it's empty, nothing in it. It's what I pour all my paint in. So we're going to give a quick stir, make sure everything's stirred in very well and I'm just gonna start dumping colors in the cup because the cup is going to mix everything for me I don't have to worry about it let's put a little bit of the black I've, I've seen this type of Art the dirty pour. I've been doing it for a while. I've seen a lot of people say the higher up you go, the better, you know, the mixing. And I I don't know if that's true. I have no idea. When I get closer to uh, having the cup a little more full, I will take a picture, or I'll actually move the camera lens or the cam. The Thing, huh? <laughs> so that you can see what I'm seeing um, because it starts to mix and separate and whatnot in the cup before it even gets onto the piece. So let's do a little bit more blue. This one may be a little darker than I thought, but because there is. The black just seems to be laying there. So, either way, whatever. I may have to pause the video to do a second cup. I'm not sure that this is going to cover both pieces. And if it doesn't, that's okay. I can pause the video and add more paint to the cup. Okay, so now I've got my cup. Little dash black. I've got my cup full. I'm going to move these cups out of my way. This is an awful lot of paint. Maybe I'll put a little more purple. There we go. They're out of the way. Let's see. Hand or foot, hand or foot, hand or foot. Let's do the hand. So I'm going to lift you up really quick and let you see. I think you can see inside the cup. If you can see the the colors, the WD-40 silicone in it just, come on, lay back. There we go. The WD-40 kind of separates the paint. It goes after the, like, the molecular compound of it and creates these cells. And they're stunning. 
So I do this without my hands on, but my rings are out well, without my hands on. Amanda, I don't have any hands. Okay. I, um, I have to unplug my phone. I just got a weird message across my screen. So I'm sorry. I'm not going to say sorry. This is life. This is art. Art is life. Life is art. And then we're going to have some fun. So I'm not wearing gloves because I don't care if I get messy. As long as I have a clear finger to hit pause on the thing, we're good. So, this is the stand that I'm going to put it on. It's also one of the colors that I've used. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. So, basically what I'm going to do, now that the colors are mixed, I'm going to just kind of start slowly pouring over the surfaces and see what happens. And then I'm going to stop for a second and let you see what has happened. So I think now it is time to, okay, set this, we'll set it here. Who cares? And I'm going to start again from, uh, this actually may be enough to cover both. From the top and go down the back of the hand, hoping it will cover a little bit more. I'm just going to kind of, and I think, oh my God, there is enough to do the foot. Stunning. I am loving this. I am totally loving it. I'm going to let it set here for a little bit. I'm just going to shift it just so that it's not, you know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to scrape the bottom. And all that really does is get the drips off. Oh, hello. I'm going to scrape my arm right across the top of it. And let's just replace what I just scraped off. And since it's just going to flow down, I'm going to spin it and see if I can give you guys a better slower look you can oh yeah but I'm wearing it anyway it's just gonna oh I did see a spot that I want to get so I'm just gonna pick some off of the table and you won't even notice because I don't have the camera on that end anyway there's a puddle of paint that that pulls off of this I'm gonna move this over here to kind of dry right now um, there's a pool of paint that flows off of the object and it just lands on the table and I let it dry because I will then take it when it's dry to peel it off the table and I'll use it on a canvas or I'll put it in a necklace or I'll put it on a, a book or you know whatever I choose to do with it okay so we're gonna do the same process I think I'm gonna do this in scooch the cord yeah, I think I still have enough paint. I'm going to do this one over. I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll put it right there. I'm going to have extra paint. I'm going to start with the foot on top so that I can see what it does on the top as well. I should probably get a little closer. I probably should use like a cameraman or a cameraman or something. There we go. Wow, this is just a lot of black and white. I was really hoping to get some of the... Actually, what I could do is let's start going down the edge of the wood and my fingertip and see what that does as well. And then I can just do another... Ta-da! And so pretty much I will set this right here again. And I will take the paint that is left and kind of slowly try not to get it on the foot again, but I want to get just on the edge of the, the wood just to make sure there's enough 
um, paint covering and I can add little lines you know wherever I choose to I, have no, I can't even see this side I don't even know if I'm like covering it all or not but I know I'm getting close to being at the end so I need to go right I can't tell if that's actually even getting it oh it's right there and then you can tap it with your finger and then come back over it and I'm just gonna And there we go. So the cup is not quite, I mean, it's empty, but you know, I'll turn the cup upside down over here and let it kind of drip off. This one, I'm really adoring these. I really was not sure what I was gonna get when I did this, loving it. So now I'm going, that cup is pretty much empty. I am going to move this. I'm going, well, let's do this. Let's scrape the bottom first. And then I'll show you. Typically, I would take a torch at this time and torch the paint because torching the paint kind of separates the cells a little bit more. I'm not sure I even need to do that. So, while I'm here and I've got extra paint, I'm just going to empty the cups because I don't want to, you know, have these cups of paint that I have to throw away. It just doesn't make sense. So, we'll just put it all in here again. I'm going to spray some more WD-40 in it. I'm just going to put them in whatever random order I happen to grab the cups in. I can rinse the cups out and use them again. I can let them dry. Um, it all truly just depends on my mood. I didn't think there was a lot of white. There's only like a couple drops of white, but we'll try to get some in there. Because otherwise it's going to be really dark. Not that I really care, but... I just decided today I needed to do a crafting project. I needed to do something other than a ride-along. I love the ride-alongs with you guys. I love the fact that any of you are even willing to watch my ride-along videos because I know I'm just kind of a gigantic ball of anxious goo in those videos, but it's what I need, and so I appreciate every single one of you watching those videos and you know supporting me through my anxiety and you know helping and just just you watching helps knowing that I'm not out there alone you know and that's part of the point of this channel is to tell you you guys aren't alone and to show you you know art as well and so I thought it was about time we did an art video because art is healing to me I love doing art I love doing crafting I like to I think it's very healing for the soul. It, it helps you mentally, and I've been looking forward to doing this all day. Um, so, okay. So I don't have anything else to pour this on right now. <laughs> so I'm literally just gonna pour it on the table. I'll make sure nothing else is in there, because what that does is it'll give a nice pattern so that when it dries I can peel it off the tablecloth and put it on something else I don't know it just makes better sense to do it that way than to throw it in the trash and since I did not prepare anything else yeah whatever okay that is done that is done that's done so I'm thinking yeah, I'm going to torch it. I'm going to torch it. Not very much, but I'm going to torch it. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to move. Oh, I just stuck my hand in it. Oh, yucky. I'm going to set that there. Yummy. 
And I'm going to move the angle so you can see both pieces. Yeah, that's a terrible angle. <laughs> the light coming in the window is terrible. So we'll just put it here and then I'll torch it and then I'll move it. Give me one second to grab my torch. Flame, flame. Okay, so I'm pretty much, literally, not even just pretty much, I'm just gonna lightly go over it. And it just kind of helps the paint, I don't know, separate, and that's, yeah, I guess separate. It helps the production the heat moves the cells around so that you get a lot of little cells and when I'm done torching these I will turn the camera around I haven't figured out how to do that in the middle of the video but whatever we'll, we'll see what we can do you'll notice when I do the up close that there's a lot of little, like, they look like little bubbles, almost. And basically, that is what the heat does. The heat activates the WD-40 to just start seeping through the paint. And, and it, the, the color that's underneath everything else on top of it just kind of pops through. And it is stunning. So let me put my torch away. Is okay. I'm gonna take my phone. I don't know how to. Can I? Okay. So, excuse me, puppy. Excuse me, puppy. All right. So, it wouldn't let me just. That's the portion of paint I just poured out of the cup. But this, I'm gonna sit down and do this and see if I can get you. There we go. That's what I wanted you to see. This is the wood base that the hand is on. And it just, let me see if I can, yeah, there we go. My hand is not massively steady. Let me set it on the, there we go. Do you see the detail in that? The different purples, the blues, and that's just the base. So let me pan up a little. And there's the hand. It, it, I mean, it's just stunning to me. I don't even have my glasses on, so I'm not 100% sure you guys are seeing what I am seeing, but there you go. Look at that. I wonder if I can get closer. I don't know how close I can get without it. Like, there you go. You see it just pool down onto the side and leaves that. It's stunning. I love doing this. I didn't know we could do it on a sculpture, so yay, we did it. Gorgeous. Okay, so I guess I should show you the, the back of the hand. See the little detail on that knuckle right? there do you see that the little looks like a little baby galaxy or something it's gorgeous okay so i'm gonna scrape the bottom of this one more time just to make it easier for myself when i go to move oh move the can because i'm gonna have to move the can and put the depth over here. So there is <clears throat> the hand right there. It's beautiful, beautiful. Now we're going to take the foot and the colors. Now you, you could, you saw, you saw that the, oh, that the colors were the same in the cup. Here's the 
here's what dripped off of the sculptures as I was pouring it. It dripped off the wood, dripped off the sculptures. And I'll leave this on the table so that later on I can peel it off and turn it into something else. I try not to waste anything. I'm so excited to show you this one, but I'm like, because it's the same colors, exact same colors. And look at that. Look at that. It has almost no dark until you get to the bottom and see here's where all the, these are all very tiny cells all these little bitty dots let's see if i can get close up on that one there you there you go just looks like it like rippled down the the ankle bone there we go come on focus I love it. I absolutely, this section right here, let's see if I can get the camera to focus. God, look at that. It's gorgeous. This turned out way better than I thought it was going to. I truly was a little petrified that it was going to, you know, I don't know, just slide off and not stay on there, if that even makes any sense but I've been doing dirty pours for a while and I've actually done it on a few surfaces that it didn't really stay very well. Like plastic, it won't stay on plastic very well. Oh, look at that. Let's see if we can get a little close up in this. Sorry, I need to do that so I can get it to focus. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the little crackle effect. Right, right in there. Look at the little crackles. I'm loving this. I'm so loving this. This is one of the finishes. Oh, I should show you like the whole foot. <laughs> this is one of the the new finishes that we're just that we were just testing out to even see. Come on, focus. There we go. Just to, to even see if it would stay on a casting piece, let alone if it would even look good. And I am just stunned. Look at the crackle effect on the toes. And the, right here behind the big toe is that, it's not gonna focus, there. It, it almost looks like a vein almost. And then the underside, underside, meh. I think most of the color kind of dripped down. You can see the, the pooling, it came down. Mm, I touched it. Pooling came down and kind of moved across the wood. And then let's get a good view of this side again. I'm loving it. Sorry, my dog is drinking water. That's the whole licky. Come on, focus. Look at that. All the way down to the corner. I'm shocked. I'm stunned. I'm so, so uber happy. There's my beautiful mess. Give me a second and I will turn the camera around again. Oh my God, I'm so excited. This was so much fun. I really, truly did not think this was going to turn out like this. I did some with resin and the resin just kind of went, Wah! you know, it didn't stick in places. And I think that that's what I had in my head was going to happen to this. But these are amazing. I'm going to do my best to get some close-up pictures and try to see if I can add them to the back of the end of the video so that you can, you know, see what they look like. I'm not going to let them dry before I do that because that it, they'll take probably 24 to 48 hours to dry because it's wood and not plaster, it's hydrocal. So I'm not sure that, that I'm going to wait that many days to upload this video. I can't, I just can't, 
I'm so excited. I'm so excited to share this with you guys. I'm excited. Excited. I'm excited. Ha, ha, la, la, la. I'm excited for you guys to see this. Um, to share it with you. Thank you guys so much for coming and watching my video. Like the video. Subscribe. Subscribe to my videos. I will rearrange my YouTube to where you know if it's a ride along video, which is me ranting in the car, or if it's an art project by the title. I will be doing more of these. I want to do a life casting video soon where you see the process of us creating one of these. And so subscribe. I promise it won't always be me in the car. This is what I want to show you. This is what I want to give you guys. I want to give you guys the excitement I have for doing things like this, for crafting, for doing art projects, for painting, for dirty, for everything that we do in life that's artful. I want to give that to you. I want to share that with you. And this is my opportunity to do that. So thank you so much for watching. Comment. Let me know if you liked it. Let me know if you didn't like it. Let me know what you want to see me do. Since most of my subscribers right now are family and they all know I'm very artsy fartsy. They know I'm very crafty. And they know that this, these live casting, this is what we do. What do you want to see? Comment below. What would you like to see me do next? Is there a project? What? I don't know. I had a lot of fun. I'm so glad I got to do this. I'm so glad that I pushed myself to do this, to share this with you guys, to share the beauty in playing with paint in a cup and turning it upside down on top of something else. It's been amazing. Thank you so much. I hope you guys are going to have a wonderful evening. And bye.